Welcome to the bathroom. Happy Sunday to you. Good morning. Thank you, Mrs. H. Look at that. Beautiful. So, hope you find you in good spirits, good health, wherever you are in the world. Uh, as always, yeah, our storms have eased for a bit. But, so, we'll see how it goes. Um, right, what we're we using, well, first thing, one of my favourite modern razors, really. Merca Future. This is the Chrome Edition. Uh, very aggressive razor, two piece. I'm going to leave it separate for a minute. A blade I'm going to put in there, not used one of these for a while, and that's the new Lord Platinum uh, blade, Platinum Class. So I'm going to use one of them. These are Egyptian blades. Well, there we go. So we'll place that. Well, we'll place it on the top of there for now. See, place the cap on. There you go. And we'll take this up to its highest, highest setting. I do understand you can't see this, can you? Sometimes when I'm doing this, but it does say number six there. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, highest setting there. No overhang on this. Uh, but you've got other things to worry about. You can take a walk through them. See the the gaps there. <laughs> Now, soap, uh, heading over to, is it uh, Barcelona, Spain, La Toja. Now you would say La, La Toja, but it's wrong, I think it's La Toja, um, shaving stick. Lovely scent this. So we're going to apply to the face. We'll wet this and get going in a minute. And the brush, very special brush, a Greg Wagner brush. Um, the gear shift brush, it made me... Isn't that fantastic? From a gear shifter in a car, manual first up to fifth and reverse the bottom there. Lovely. So we're going to use that today. It's like a soft, very, very soft synthetic brush as you can see there. Isn't that lovely? There you go. So we'll wet the face and we'll get going. So how are you doing? How's the weather where you are? Hope you have you had storms? Have you survived them? I hope so. La Toja. And if I'm if I'm just uh, messing that pronunciation up, I apologise to any Spanish viewers. I live by a Spanish fella. Nice chap. Yeah. That'll do. We can always go back. And lots of times we don't need to go back. But, uh, so we'll wet the, the gear shift. We'll step it up a gear to get a tether on it. <laughs> we'll let it this a bit. So we're wet, but we're not dripping. I'll stand back in case I flick the soap in your eyes. We're using the blood and blood and blade, baby. This is among a few others. One of the softest knots I've got. And as you can see, lovely to handle. <laughs> There's no messing lathers up a hard puck. When you face lathered, no problem. Right. So we'll tidy up, we'll heat up the future. Get going. Shave of the day, please, and meal of the day if you're having one. Oh, and I'll speak about that in a minute. So, here we go Merca Future, highest setting six, 
first pass using the the Lord um, Platinum Class blade, brand new. Here we go, first pass. Should be able to hear this very well. Beautiful, nice blade. I've spoke too soon about the storms. I can hear the wind picking up as I speak. Nice scent this. It's a clean, fresh scent, but it's a sweet scent, I'd say. It has a sort of powdery sweetness to it. That's how I see it, isn't it? Yeah. One round or two buttered toast sound effect is. That is nice. nice. Oh yeah, good slickness. Really good slickness. Wow. You could shave with that. No problem. Just on its own. It's warm. It must be heating on again. Right. We'll just wet tips of the brush. Again, if you're looking at ways of lathering and you've never tried face lathering with a shave stick, maybe this is worth a try because you can see how quick you can gather up a, a lather. No lather bowl needed. Maybe if you're in a rush one day or you don't have one, you don't have to have a bowl. You've got nature's bowl. I've done it many times. Soap in the hand and there we go. So we'll take this down now to uh, what are we six? So we'll take it to six, five and a half. I tell you, go to five. You see that? Number five. And we'll go across the growth. Um, finding this blade. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, so meal today, for me, a meal alone. Why is that? Why is that? Well, it's uh, Mrs. H is going out for lunch with her sister. It's her sister's birthday. So she's having like a girly lunch out, you know, that type of thing. Because they don't see. Uh, well, they see each other, but they don't have time to enjoy um, an afternoon or a you know, day together often. Because of uh, 
busy lives and this and the other. So they're going for lunch today. So me, so I don't know what they're having, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, but I do know what I'm having. I'm having a pheasant, two pheasant breasts. Uh, the pheasant is a game bird, as you, if you didn't know. And um, I'm going to fry them in a pan, olive oil, bit of garlic, bit of butter, baste them, crispy skin. You don't need to know all this, but that's how I'm going to do it. And I'm doing a plum sauce, so it'll have a sweetness to it, with some green beans, sugar snap peas maybe. Green beans or sugar snap peas. And uh, creamy mash, buttery creamy mash. So pheasant breast, cooked with the skin on, lovely seasoned, plum sauce, creamy mash and green beans or sugar snap peas. Got it? <laughs> Sorry. We've not been back to that shave stick, either to the face or to the brush. As you can see that quick application was uh, sufficient and this brush as I say is one of the softest knots a uh, very unique brush isn't it um, should we no we'll use it as an adjustable um, I'm gonna take it down hang on a minute five tell you what let's go to three and a half usually go to four or three but we'll go to the dot in the middle there three and a half And um, yeah, very soft, but as you can see, that's a hard soap onto the whiskers and it lathered up lovely. And it, you know, the, against the growth now, they are good, good brush. And this razor is not for everybody. Some people love it, like myself. Some people hate it, and some people just don't love it, don't hate it, but enjoy it. Very audible. Like I say, it <laughs> sounds a bit like you're buttering toast. Especially if you've got good speakers. If you're watching on a oh God, on a big screen, don't. I tell you what. Uh, Myself and Mrs. H, we have a started to um, we've we've got a juicer, you know, like a fruit juicer. Hang on. And then we get. That's lovely. Oranges, and we have about two oranges each juiced. And not every day, but every other day produces a glass, sort of that big. And it's lovely. Orange, you feel so good. It's, um, it's really nice. Oh, I caught myself there. Didn't feel it, eh? <laughs> Just about under that nose, I wasn't sure. <laughs> the future is so thick and sort of bulky. It's a, going across, you can't get to the edge, obviously, because there's no overhang, especially. So you've got to. 
play about with it, but once you get used to it, yeah, it's good. Right, you know what time it is now? Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Got a bit louder. And that was just about enough, I think. We'll leave it on uh, setting three and a half for the pickups. It won't be much, I don't think. Oh, there's a bit there. Hear that wind? I spoke too soon then. And then again, I like the sound of the wind and the rain. As long as I'm <laughs> just as long as I'm not in it. No, I don't mind that either. In a way, if I got the proper gear on. That is lovely. Just a touch there. Cold water rinse. Lighten things up a bit. Wow. That's good. That is good. Oh, lovely. That lilies in there. See, I'm getting good. Lilies and things. Right. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> Lilies and things. Very well educated, as you can see. Right, so that's what we look like. And then um, we're going to use a bit of eucalyptus witch hazel, homemade. I want to use it up. I've used all the menthol now, so that needs a fresh batch making. And the thing is, I only remember to do it when I do use this and talk to you about it because <laughs> I don't come in here normally, or we don't come in here, right. And then we're going to very England, English leather anyway, that's what we're going to use. Very old scent, very old classic. Let's just spray this one. Oh yeah. God, that, that takes me back to a child. That, again. Oh yeah, memories eh? Ooh. And then we're going to use some Astral. I like this stuff. Don't use it often enough. This is original Astral Shave <laughs> Moisturising Cream. There you go. And it's sort of a Nivea-ish texture. Don't need a lot of it. Not a strong scented cream, very pleasant. And if you're new to shaving, welcome to this wonderful hobby that it will become if you stick to it and it takes time. Um, but it's worth it because you're, you know, the world is your oyster as regards razors, blades, soaps, scents, brushes, anything. In fact, you can go the other way, where a lot of people start doing this to save money and end up spending, <laughs> I'm one of them, far more 
then what you should, but it's an enjoyment. It becomes a hobby, which is fantastic. I think if you can turn something you absolutely hated or despised into something you love, and if you're that way inclined, it's good for the planet because that will last you for life if you look after it. Um, you know, but uh, that type of thing, if that's your way of, or that's your goal in shaving, it's there's all sorts of branches out, isn't it? It's, it caters for everyone if you wanted to, and um, it's worth every bit. But what you will find is what one person says, I could say to you, This is fantastic, you try it, it doesn't work for you, or you might not like the scent. We're all different, so don't take everything. Um, you know, like I say, that's a beautiful scent. It is a nice scent for me, but you might not like it. It's just like a sweet, powdery scent. Lovely. Uh, but there we go. Don't waffle, Paul. Sorry, too late. Have a fantastic rest of the day and uh, weekend. And um, start to next week, some good shaves. Thanks for your company again. Nice to see you. And I'll see you on um, Wednesday for the midweek shave. So all the best. Thank you very much. And bye-bye.